The Lincolnville Preservation and Historical Society aims to embrace and preserve the legacy of black men and women who bought and owned land during the Reconstruction era. Located just 20 miles northwest of Charleston, South Carolina, and adjacent to the town of Somerville, lies Lincolnville, a town founded by Bishop Richard Harvey Kane and six other freed black men in 1867. Fed up with discrimination, these men boarded a train from Charleston in search of a place where they could live free from racial discrimination and suppression. They desired a place where they could build community with their wives and children. They had a vision that was given to them by God, recognizing that it was the God-given ability uh, for all people to include colored people during that time, black people, uh, to be free. The town of Lincolnville was incorporated in 1889 and became a homestead for free black men and women, not only from Charleston, but also along the South Carolina coast, notably Johns and James Islands, the area known today as the Gullah Geechee Corridor. Many settlers migrated from the Sea Islands and brought their culture and traditions with them, many of which centered around food. I don't care what part you go to, whether that's on Johns Island, James Island, Edisto, downtown, North Charleston, Beaufort, St. Helena, you will find that the culture of the people are the same in terms of the Gullah Geechee culture, the foods we eat, how we eat it, how it's prepared, when it's prepared, because there's some things you can't do except for around certain holidays. That's right, that's right. So, it, you know, it, it's, it's amazing how it has continued over generations and generations. The untold history of families from the Gullah Geechee Corridor who purchased land and made their homes in Lincolnville are being eroded by what some may call progress, but others call erasing. Quilting was and still is a traditional art form passed down from the early settlers. Ebenezer African Methodist Episcopal Church is Lincolnville's first church. Built in 1878 as a prayer house, Bishop Kane used it for Bible classes and town meetings. Today, the church still stands at 124 East Pinckney Street. The second church built in Lincolnville is Wesley Methodist Church. It was built in 1887. The original pews remain in the church along with the chandelier. Although segregated, the town's children received a stellar education at the Lincolnville Elementary School. Today, it's the Charles Ross Municipal Complex the seat of government for Lincolnville and the offices of current Lincolnville mayor, Enoch Dickerson. The old jail built by the original settlers still stands. The one-room building is covered with stucco masonry. The crown jewel of Lincolnville's historic landmarks is the Bible Sojourn Cemetery. In 1887, it was a farm and Miss Eden donated this property to the town of Lincolnville to serve as a resting place for those seven men that discovered this town plus any other citizens of the town of Lincolnville. Launched in 2021, the Bishop Richard Harvey Kane Community Garden is bringing churches and residents together. This garden is more than just dirt. The seeds we plant are not just seeds of vegetables, but seeds of community. The Lincolnville Preservation and Historical Society invites you to partner with us to secure and restore the culture and historical treasures of Lincolnville and continue to follow the trail of the Gullah Geechee people and their descendants. For more information, go to www.lincolnvillesc.org.